morning guys welcome back to the video now today um i think it's gonna be changed up i think we're going to my grandma's i'm gonna try and stay up i've had no sleep it's currently i think almost wait let me check yeah i don't think i can do this in the camera yeah i can it's 9 38 a.m and my dad gets up usually about one so about three to two hours roughly no wait 10 11 12 1 10 11 12 1 in about four to five hours We'll be going to my grandma's about 1, 2 p.m. ish. And right now, uh, I thought I'd just intro the vlog um, and stuff. But on my my other, I don't know if you guys saw it already, but on my um, Facebook account, I posted a post saying, um, I it basically said log in it. My See, I'm not a very good speller. I suck at spelling. So I use the mic when I post, and it put log instead of vlog with a V. It's not log, it's vlog with a V, not a L. But I'm sorry for that, I apologize, and if you guys did see that post, you know what I mean. But if you haven't seen that post on my Facebook account, you won't know what I mean. But I just updated my Instagram account like three, four times already. It's already at 19 posts. Um, and I updated my Facebook account just a minute ago um, letting you guys know I already posted a video if you guys can go check out that video it's over at James's epic vlogs I've already posted that it's all ready to go I posted that hours ago about four or five in the morning um, and stuff like that but um now today's vlog hopefully it's long I want to try and beat 30 minutes I'm not we are gonna walk over there because my dad don't have a vehicle and my grandpa's vehicle is currently out of fuel um, so we're gonna walk over there. So I will record. I will. I'm sorry, guys. When I get put on the point for camera, when I have to say everything, I mess the words up. But when I'm not on point, when I don't have to say it, um, I can say it properly. But as I was saying, I'll record some of the. I'll record some of the way they are walking. Maybe majority. Maybe half of it. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I am going to definitely record some while I'm there. I have a bicycle, but it's in pond, so I would ride the bike with you guys, but it's currently in pond. If you guys don't know what pond means, you'll not know what I'm talking about by pond, but if you do know what a pond means, then you know what a pond means, and you know what I'm talking about. But I'm not going to get to full detail about the bicycle. Um, I actually wanted to mention something. I had um, another bike. Before I got this one, by the way, I got this one to replace that bike. I didn't even know about this bike, the bike I got now that's in pawn. I did not know I was going to get this bike. My bike, okay, one night I parked my bike. So, my grandma's house, she don't use her front door. She has it blocked off with a dress, I think a couch. I have not been over there in over three to three, two to three weeks now, almost a month. So, I can't, I don't know if it, the she used to have it blocked with a dresser, but I think it's a couch now. I can't remember, but she don't use the front door. She keeps it blocked for some reason. Um, when we first moved in, she used it, but um, she uh, uses her back door. There and on the back, there's this concrete uh, slab. It's not very big. And then you have like a concrete little, little, little concrete slab where you step up and you step up again to get on the concrete slab. It's like a stairwell, stairway, and then you turn and here's the back door. And I always parked my bike catty cornered, and there was this long pole where the uh, thingy, arch thingy, that where you could sit outside without getting sun or rain all over you, right there. But it it was torn down, so it was just a long pole. I always parked my bike catty cornered front end towards that. It was a blue bike I had, a gray bike, blue blue had blue on it. Um, and one night, 4 3 a.m. ish. This was almost two three months ago. 3, 4 a.m. ish, I was passed out sleeping. I went to bed about 11, 10 o'clock that night. And, I'm at 11, 11, 12 o'clock that night. And my grandma, grand, grandpa woke me up. He said, where'd you park your bicycle? And I was like, I parked it right back there by the, um, uh, concrete slab, sorry. I had to think for a second, concrete slab. And he's like, no, it's not there. I was like, I parked it there. I'm, and he was like, no, it's not there. I was like, I probably parked it somewhere else, and I'm forgetting right now. So I walked out back. My bike wasn't there. My bike was not there at all. I, me and my grandma about six, 
uh, not six, it's about five, four-ish, um, because about 3.45 when I found out. Me and my grandma, we walked, um, quite far to look for it, but no luck, and come to find out, I don't have the bike anymore, but come to find out, a, a guy stole it, um, he is black, he was black, um, I'm not gonna mean, I don't know his name or anything, but it, he was black and he stole it. He saw me park it there, and fun fact, a little bit, um, I'm very sorry if I'm talking a lot, I just want to tell you guys this little story about my bike, uh, a little bit before, um, that, when I was riding my bike, I went past a black guy, he turned around and looked at me and was eyeballing the bicycle, he turned around and came back that same way, so he got halfway down the road, and I was all the way up the road. I turned around, he turned back around and went past my bicycle and eyeballed it again. I parked my bike that night, had this funny feeling it was going to get stolen. And then later on that night, it got stolen. Come to find out, he stole it. He sold it for somehow 300 bucks. That bike wasn't even worth 5 bucks. Well, maybe it was worth 5 bucks, maybe 30 Not even worth 30 um, and somehow he got 300 bucks out of it. He's in, I don't know if he's still in jail, but he's in jail. I didn't have a lot of proof. I only had a blurry picture of it that my mom took when me and everybody was riding. It was only a blurry picture. So, sadly, I couldn't get the bike back. I had to keep it because I didn't have enough proof to show it was my bicycle. They believed it was my bicycle, so they kept it for evidence, and I couldn't ever get the bicycle back. So, I got my bicycle stolen, and just to give you guys a tip, Make sure you lock your bicycle up. Never leave it out like I did. I got my bicycle stolen, and now I know to put my bike in the house every night. When I have my bike at my grandma's, I put it in the house, and then I go to bed. I never, ever leave it out anymore. I used to leave it out all night. I would used to lean it up against the pole, put the handlebar through there, and leave it out. Pull it up behind that brick, leave it out, leave it out. I used to leave it out all the time. Then that, that bike got stolen. Then I got this one. So now I know not to steal. Steal, really. Now I know not to leave my bike out. Because it will get stolen. But, um, I thought I'd tell you guys that little story. I'm so sorry for talking so long. But I thought I'd tell you guys that little story. Because I thought I needed to get that off my chest. I've been dying to tell you guys that story for the last day and a half now. Because I remembered it. And I was like, ah, I want to tell the story. But I don't think you want to hear it and stuff like that and I current I did find out three or four days later who stole it I told you guys um and stuff but it, the sad thing is it was three three or four days later but I am so so sorry for talking so long I just wanted to tell you guys that little story and that's about it um and I hopefully will see you I'm so sorry it's already eight minutes I am so sorry it's already eight minutes I almost talked for ten minutes long but I'm so sorry. I'm not going to talk that long anymore. I'll see you guys whenever my dad gets up. Peace. What? Okay. Sorry. Peace. The camera didn't stop recording. Peace. Alrighty, guys. So it's been a couple of hours since I recorded anything. I heard my dad using the restroom. So I think it might be my dad or my mom. But I think they're up. It's currently 11, 12. It's currently... 11 10 a.m. Um, I got my shoes on and everything that way if my dad leaves I can just go and ask him before he actually gets out the door off camera if I can go And then I got my jacket and everything set up right here because like 20 minutes ago I heard him using the restroom so I was like damn I need to put my shoes on so I got everything on I didn't want him to leave me so I rushed everything but I think Sorry I think I heard him but I rushed everything on and I think he's up and getting around and everything but I don't want him to accidentally walk out the door and leave me. So I'm trying to be really on my top notch to make sure I hear that door open. But so that's why I'm not trying to, be trying to be too loud. But um, I promise you guys I'll see you guys whenever he gets up and around. And you guys know the last clip I recorded was at 9 a.m. It's been two hours since I've recorded anything. I thought it was going to be the next four hours. But two hours early. It might be an hour from now. It might be two hours from now since I get to ask him. But, you guys see how bloodshot my eyes are? Don't show it on, I think it, I think it just might be the camera, I don't know, I think my eyes might be bloodshot, but I will see you guys in a couple of hours. I heard him, but I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, so it's been a couple of hours, we've been over at my grandma's, and we just got here a couple minutes ago. We came over for a little bit of stuff, I didn't vlog any of me and my dad come over because we were walking, it was cold, it's not too cold now, so 
Sorry, but it's not too cold now. We shall be good. <clears throat> shall be good on the way back, but I'll try and get some more footage at the house. But right now, we're just going to be walking back. Walking back, because our vehicle don't have any gas in it. So, my mom gets paid in a few days, so she'll put gas in it. So, I'll see you guys whenever I can get home. Peace. Oh. Peace. So we're home right now um, after a walk there and a walk back. My nose is running right now. But I think I'm going to go kick the soccer ball around outside later on today. But today's vlog might be a little bit short because after all, um, it's the first day of me getting my sleep schedule hopefully back on track. So tomorrow's vlog will be a little bit better because it will be started from 6 a.m. Um, and it won't be started throughout the night and having to wait and wait and wait. But it's like I finally actually found my soccer ball. So I actually can go outside and kick it up again and stuff and get a little leg workout. Um, but I'll have to throw my jacket and stuff back on. I'll probably do it later on in the day. But I'm sorry for the very short vlog. But um, I'll try and get more vlog footage later on. Um, but I'll see you guys whenever I can get a little more vlog footage. Peace. Alright, so right now I think I'm going to go outside and kick this soccer ball around. I got the soccer ball in my arm, so it's really hard to shut that door. I need to switch arms real quick. Sorry, camera down low. I'm going to switch arms. It's not as cold out as it was earlier this morning. Uh, I think I'll go on the side of the house to play um, around with the ball. But it's not as cold, and the sun, oh god, the sun's out. It's currently almost 2 p.m. It's been a bit since I've... done anything sorry it's been a bit since I've done anything uh, I'm just gonna record the ball now but today's vlog might be a bit, little bit short though and it might be based on inside more I didn't record anything at my grandma's house because we were only a little bit we were only over there for a few minutes sorry the ball is rolling away and well I don't want to record a whole bunch of it but I'm gonna record a little bit of the ball. Well, that didn't go well. Sorry if the camera is a little shaky. Fuck. Oh, sorry. Just to give a little warning. If you guys can't hear cuss words, don't recommend watching my channel. Um, just a little tip real quick. Um, not a little tip. I just a little announcement. The behind the scenes of James Epic Vlogs channel is not gonna make it. I can't I don't have the time to record two videos on the same day. So I'm only gonna be posting vlogs and Facebook and Instagram this stuff. And I might download Snapchat and Twitter. But back onto this. But if you guys can't hear cuss words, I don't recommend watching my channel at all. Because there's freak, fuck, bitch, or stupid, or so, there's some type of cuss, cuss word. I don't, I haven't I said bitch on my channel yet until now. I just kicked the ball. But there's some type of cuss word. Stupid, freak, crazy, or some type of stuff. Some type of something. But don't watch my channel if you guys can't hear cuss words. Back on to kicking the ball around. I'm trying to record as much as I can to, oh man. Trying to record much as I can today. Sorry if it's like based on more of my uh, life. That's what the vlogs are supposed to be based on, is my life. So basically, I'm I think I'm gonna start recording more of what I do in the outside world and the inside world and stuff. So that's what my vlogs are supposed to be based on, is outside, I mean, my life, basically what I do throughout the day. And I put a little extra stuff in there that I don't wanna do just for the vlog. Um, and stuff. I put a little extra content out that I'm not comfortable with just for the video. 
Like right now, I did not want to get out here and do this, but I decided to. If not, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, and then I'll have to end the vlog late that night. So and I don't want ha that to happen. I think I'm gonna start going with my dad every day to grandma's, and I think I'm gonna record some maybe someday. I don't record like with my dad and stuff because he don't like being on camera much. But I'm gonna get get back to kicking the ball. See, I can't kick it hard because I don't want to drop my phone. Dang it. That's how I caught it. Oh, man. No! No, not the mud. By the way, guys, I... This ain't no Walmart ball, I don't think. Um, a soccer team actually kicked this over. Fun fact, a soccer team actually kicked this ball. One time, one day we were over by a U-Haul store. U-Haul um, thing. And there was a soccer ball game going. And they kicked this ball over the fence. And we tried to give it back, but they say it wasn't theirs. So we just kept it. And my dad gave it to me. So this is a soccer ball that soccer ball players actually used. So, I'm kind of an honor to have this ball. Because, you know, actually soccer, actual soccer players touched this ball and kicked it around and stuff. I don't know if they're famous or anything, but... See, I guess I can't play soccer on camera. I'm going to get a recorder. Oh! Alright, so I think later on today I'm going to fix my leaf blower, but... The leaf blower you guys saw in the 20 minute video is now mine. My dad broke the rope so he didn't want it anymore, so he gave it to me. So I'll fix that later on today. So I'm going to put the camera away for a little bit and play a little bit of soccer. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, I just wrapped up playing a little bit of soccer. It didn't go too well. I kept kicking the ball. Crooked. I can't get you straight. But on to see what's up with the leaf blower. <sighs> Now, I know I'm not, like, a video person that does videos on lawnmowers and stuff, but I know how to work on them, so why not? I think I'm going to grab a flathead and maybe a rope of some sort to put in here and see if I can fix it. I'll be back in a minute. Well, you know what? You guys can just come along. I'm not going to keep stop recording and recording again. I don't want like 30 different clips to record I'm and edit together so you guys can come along with me to get the rope. And stuff like that. Now, all I need is a flat head. Yeah, don't know how well you guys can see. Sorry, I don't know if you guys could see, but looking for a flathead. Flathead. Man. Flathead's not in there. Looks like we're gonna be on the hunt for a flathead. Hmm. I hate being put on the hunt. I'm probably gonna stop recording if I can't find it. Hmm. No flathead. And then again, I still need a rope. Still haven't found a flathead. I think. I think there's one out back. Yeah. I hit my camera. Is there one out here? I forgot all about the back door, so I just walked all the way around for nothing. Sorry if I'm not looking specifically at the camera. I'm trying to look for a flathead screwdriver. Because the flathead bolts. I need to take them off. One. Bye. One, so that way I can put the rope in there. And then again, I need to find a rope. Uh, 
Sorry, I thought I saw a rope. But number uno, flathead. Number dos, rope. I'll be back in a minute. I think I only have two clips right now to edit together. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I managed to find a flathead. Very sorry if I can't record my face. I have a four prong too, just because I need any other tools. I'm about to find a rope. Sorry, I got gum in my mouth. I just went and grabbed some gum. Took me like five minutes to find these alone. They're on the porch, and I didn't know. Alright, first thing I want to do is pull this apart. Let me grab my... My round? Trusty Dusty Bucket ain't out here. We'll just grab... The square Trusty Dusty Bucket. I call it Experiment Bucket. What can you guys see at that angle? Can you guys even see the blower at that angle? Alright, first off, I want to get these out. Alright, oh. too hard screw number one to be honest I think there's like 20 screws in here yeah and I don't think there's any gas dang it Sorry guys, but I really have to do something for the video. I want my comeback vlog to be a little bit better than my usual. Bolt well, number two. Dang it, it's getting caught. But that video I recorded earlier that you guys have already seen, that was actually in the backyard of my grandma's house. You saw the front end of my grandpa's Chevy Avalanche. That's not all the way out. Alright, bolt number three. There's still like five bolts left. By the way, my flathead's not the best screwdriver in the world. Bolt number four. Bolt number five. Bolt number six. Dang it. It's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next. Peace.